Hawks instead. We're getting a uh, something grand we've seen final a decent set. amount of before. The grand finals between Carflow and Numbers. Carflow, Cloud, gonna... and We Fit tri That trip? Yeah. That's like soft. That can trip? Yeah, it's weird. What's what move? Uh, header. Header grounded, oh, yeah. apparently. Yeah. yeah. Wow. When you're like, this character has everything. Except a decent grab, let's say. Members will still look you in the eye and tell you that Wii Fit has bad hitboxes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. They'll still do that to you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the... He's done it to me before. I just go, uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Whatever, yeah. whatever you say, Honestly, buddy boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good at him for recognizing when he can spot dodge through uh, cross slash. Both, um, they're different timings, but both versions of cross slash can be like spot dodge and roll through, and it's on the player to practice that and, you know, nice get it down pat, because Cloud's, uh, Cloud's character's not going anywhere anytime soon. No, the character's too strong for any, for him to be disappearing at any given he moment. Could, like, he could be bad, and people would still play him, because it's Cloud Strife. Also true. It just so people happens did. that, uh, Square kind of fit the bill for, it's like, look, we, we know, we know Noctis and Tech 7 wasn't that great at the end of the day. Let's make Cloud good, please. Thank you. Uh, it came up earlier in the stream today talking about how uh, Cloud's Buster Sword, while iconic, not very good. Uh, yeah, like yeah. In, in the source material. But here it's just big, which is very good. It's just big. I mean, same, well, same for Arsene with Joker, honestly, because like the starting oh persona is never God. the starting persona is never good. Good. At least you here. At the very least. For Persona, you can always make the starting Persona good by That's true, yeah. like playing the game. Yeah, um, we, gotta, we gotta reverse engineer the fusion and all that. And yeah. the Buster Sword got such a glow up in remake. Like it's really good in remake. <laughs> can yeah. he change swords still? He can. He has okay. other swords. I, I, yeah. I haven't played it, yeah. but you can like buff the stats of any of your equipment. Yeah. And the Buster Sword is the balance sword, so it's just good at everything. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there are Buster Sword only runs of the original Me. too. Absolutely. <laughs> Me doing it. <laughs> oh, the dash that comes down. Still though, it is a uh, numbers faces the sword head on, and it will stomp on his cloud strike. Oh my apparently. god! <laughs> god, he's like, it's the it's the down air mix ups that I feel like always get numbers like so much mental advantage. Mm -hmm. Maybe because he's putting a uh, he's putting his wow. opponent in a concussion, but. Did anyone else think that Carfo was just gonna hold down and then I saw the stock Ooh, and I was like, yeah, wait. it's good that you didn't. <gasps> the jump climb hazard connected? I mean, that's. I, I mean, it connecting there, it feels like it's specific. We're like, reviewing both. that after this game. Yeah, yeah that, that was a call out if ever I've seen it. I'm not surprised it hit that way, but it was very smart on Carflow's part to go for it. To, to deal with the, the Wii Fit interaction of, oh, she's gonna do header on the ledge, oh, force me to jump, and you just take your big old cereal spoon. Scoop. Mm, delicious. Yeah. You get one scoop. Pulls out comically hard spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great for my honey bunches of nope. Nope, you're not getting yeah. that. <laughs> I'm taking this stock. Goodbye. Oh, we tried for the falling fair that time. Oh. And like, Carflow is just trying to press buttons on numbers, but numbers playing reactive pretty well. The Nair oh. reacted a little bit too late to the platform uh, tech chase opportunity. That's a lot of damage. Oh, okay. I'm Good like, fadeaway. Yeah, especially given how little stage he was rocking with. Drop zone. Uh, what? Drop zone? No, doesn't go for it. Numbers rode the stage, making it hard. Yeah. This gun is running out soon. Chooses to climb or cross slash instead of go for something like a blade beam. And yeah, numbers was in. How many position. times today has he hit? Enough. Yeah, enough. enough. Just enough. Let's enough to win. All right, let's see this. Because this is. The end. Of, uh, no, this is the stock. Yeah. This yeah, is no, this okay. Is the... Yeah, that's bro, so good. That's, bro, that's, that's so good. That's actually. Oh, I think the soccer ball actually helped. Cause did, like, did it? Let, 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 yeah, we have the technology. Let's zoom in. Okay, he's pulling it out. Oh, actually, no, no it, it hit her. Nah. It hit her so, face first. Never mind. So this covers header, but also by doing the little jump first. Yeah. You're able to intercept ledge jumps as well. By also just and you're you're covering the ledge jump of this entire space like that's just good technology against Wii Fit specifically 
and against like characters and players that are jump happy from the ledge. It makes me think how often has he done that against other characters, but no clue. Uh, yeah, uh, oh again, that was very intentional on Carful's part, and that's what yes. I like the most. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's like, versus other characters, I think that's just like uh, a John Numbers matchup. Yeah, no, not, not a Wii Fit yeah. thing, a Jonathan Newman. Well, thing. yeah, no, like maybe a Wii Fit thing, but yeah, it's just like, oh, they do this, I have an answer. Yeah. I could just see, I could also see it like finding use against characters like Pac-Man, for instance, that do that like jump drift back mm -hmm. to charge fruit. Mm -hmm. Like you just blow them up for it to throw or charge fruit, like you just blow them up for it. But it's even more it's just as effective against Wii Fit and that's good really good technology to be uh, to put into practice as the dash deck closes up the stock. Yeah. I wanted to comment but we didn't have enough time, I wanted to let you guys have it. Uh, but like when we slow mode him pushing the sword out, boy was that truly his big spoon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn. Uh, it's un unfortunate that Carflow dropped the stock because he got a little greedy. Carflow always likes to air dodge the ledge when he has the limit because he wants to use the limit offensively, not defensively. Yeah. Which is valid, but at the same time, sometimes it's better just to just to take the ledge grab. <laughs> sometimes just go to ledge. Oh, oh, the ball hit. If he hit that, if he hit that oh, second oh, one, God bless. That would be yeah. going right to each mesh. John, John Numbers, more like Scott Sterling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, looking for up airs. Oh, the, the delay, playing it so fast and so loose. They did a little delay timing there from Numbers was so good. Numbers on board, throw. Yeah, looking for a reset. Oh, yeah, that was a weak hit. Yeah, not able to find it. The intercept was great as the numbers drifts away yet again. Saying, I want none of that. Thank you. Who would? Ooh. I wonder if that could have been a some sort of punish because they hit the top of uh, numbers of shield. Either way, that backer still not closing down the stock. Thank you, deep breathing. Not today. Oh. Going up. It's cool. Ding. That's the second climb hazard stock today. In this set, my goodness. Get a lot of mileage out of that, too. Oh, it's... Uh, I mean, I uh, oh, I forgot. We fit shield grab is bad. You yes. need to be point blank. Her standing grab is not good. I'm surprised I missed it. That just got a little bit of ship damage. Did anyone else catch that little wind box push of the sun there? Yeah. That made him miss the down tilt? yet again in finding ways to bring us to like even very even final scenarios like just by nature of like playing consistent like playing his game like you never you never really see John deviate from the game plan too hard always just making little tweaks rather than trying to like completely re-engineer if he's ever at a deficit was Carl the one that sent him the losers? no uh, it was uh, Dumpling King yeah mmm Ganondorf. Ganondorf. <laughs> Hold the up air. Numbers trying to hold steady. The header comes down to the dash attack. Ooh. Wow, that was still active to connect. He didn't land in the charge, oh, but got the sour spot. Man, he was that was, right. He was, that was gonna right. Be a, that was going to be a great sequence if that actually hit the sweet spot. Man, and just having to do all of that work and like, all of that knowledge yet again. Like, you cashed out there. And the game's not over, but it's over now. That is the third time. Hey, hey the first time you were asking about, like, oh, did I extend on the volleyball? No, that one. <laughs> that one was pretty extended. Let's see it again. <laughs> like, sheesh. I hmm. hate this. You're hmm. going for the same thing again and yeah. again, Bucko? All right, bet. I Hold hate this. I hate oh, this. Oh, off ball. the parry, too? I hate this ball so much. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hit that. If there's anything that Carful walked into this set with, he is prepared for header at ledge. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wish I could be. It, it's a very specific. It's a specific tool that's pretty strong. And you know what? Step one: grab your biggest spoon. <laughs> Scoop. <laughs> Acquire a bowl, usually found in the top lasso. What was that? You see that header, like. Plank with the 
big blade beam. She's got she such a thick skull. Yeah. I mean, have you headbutt a soccer ball before? That's probably that probably <gasps> hurts. I don't know if I agree with that blade beam. That might have been something else. Yeah. Carfoy just choosing to cash out. Alright, we'll just shield flickering. Down air. No, choosing to not apply pressure there. Instead, just maintaining position. Not honestly, most of the time, maintaining position is just the way you gotta oh. be against some of the more awkward characters in the in the in the game. Crowd's just able to outposition them a lot of the times. Charging limit. Charging limit slowly though. Next hit that you Good. gain should charge it. Next this throw will do it as well. Gonna car flow for fast fall air duck. Okay, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, they couldn't couldn't do much about that. I feel like the read that uh, John had being able to drop his shield, uh, fall through the platform, yeah. just because he knew Carflow wasn't going to swing. Because like that's such a situation where the person who is below absolutely can swing. Yeah. Like even if they do put up their block uh, like preemptively and then drop it because nothing happened. Well, I said all the way across. My lord. Yeah, I love that about Numbers' game, like, a lot. It's like he... There are times where he's going to make these, like, big reversals or, like, explosive plays, but a lot of times his stocks come and his general damage comes on little reads. Like, oh, I know you're not going to swing here. Or mm -hmm. I know, like, you do a lot of... You're right now in a flow of, like, instant timing, so I'm going to delay a little bit. It's like those little moments and the small ball... Uh, oh, God. ...that Numbers is just so good at. Ooh, car flow. Uh, not punished that time for doing the same ledge header again, but uh, it might come back I mean, to bite him. I mean, Carflow is just a strong autopilot if ever I've seen it. He's just whittling away at the climb hazard. It does like 17. Like, oh, that caught double jump. It's huge, huge. Really? The header, not finding reversal from the header is certainly tough for numbers. And there's the up smash. Honestly. Trying to catch Carflow delaying or on those immediate timings, but Carflow time and time again, plays fast, plays fast, plays fast, slows it down and kills you for it. Oh, that was raw, I'm just gonna say it. That was just a raw call. He's, he's, good. he's ready for that. And he's ready for that in important moments, and every stock against John is important because you can never let the game go wrong. It's make or break time, Johnny boy. And what's your answer? That's the set end with Carflow Whoa. winning 350. Ooh, trying that, for that something big. That is an option. Big. That is a valid option he could take right now to become the winner of 350. Ooh, the empty movement from John was crazy. The back air clashed with the sun sal. If that was me, I would have got hit like two times over in that entire oh, sequence. Yeah. Just, it's just empty movement. We're in small God. ball mode with the damage, high damage value going crazy. The soft back air only gives car flow limit. All right. But the sun sal does Get up take attack? it. Hmm. Already on 70%. With hold out there. I don't think that would have killed, hazard. but yeah, good on numbers for holding out. Yeah. That's good. Oh my god. Just prepping for back uh, airs. Connects these this big sword is just putting big a thorn in some beefy big. back airs. It's a thorn in the side of numbers time and time again. He missed the deep breathing. Oh that's That's kind of a he missed it the first time, so he tried to overcome, like, he tried to make up for it by going for the second time, but then it's a little bit slower, so uh, that's tough. Yeah, that's kind of a uh, milk toast way to end things, but yeah. ultimately, this, uh, truthfully, I don't know if he had that much more in him. He probably I mean, the, right I, on the I say, wall for, like, what is it? It was, like, 20% to 140 or something yeah. like that. Not but, that I, not that I, by now, anyway. Especially by now, I should say. Not that I don't trust him to make that comeback, because it's John Numbers at the local, and it was storming outside, so he was in his element. <laughs> but, yeah, in this in the, in this instance, it didn't come to pass. Wait, four. I think this... I think it really shows, at the very least. Like, it shows the benefit of just, like, coming into That sense. down air was crazy. That was nuts. Like, all of the... The timing change-up from Carflow, like over and over again has just been so good like in little in these little small ball moments that John is normally so so good at okay let's see this first yeah like he okay that's that's fair you can't really tell in the blast zone but I don't know why the second he one? flubs but then he doesn't get the stall from the second one that's true so uh, okay yeah John confirming 
Thanks, John. Sometimes I'm good at my job. <laughs> and that and that gave Carflow the JV2 yeah. and the Master Ball for him cr being crowned as Mewtwo for Xeno number 351. Mewtwo's 151. Mewtwo's next week. Yeah, Mewtwo's next week. 151. Wait, what? We're on 350. We're on... This is 350, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Mewtwo. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. Mew is 151. Mew is 151. Mew is 151. Oh, my God. Bro. You're telling this to our card game player? I forgot. Because you can't get Mew in red, blue, yeah. blue, red and blue. I can't. Not, not through regular means. I'll be honest. I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> <laughs> if there were, if there were oh, any no. generation past like three, you'd be forgiven. But no. one, bro? Yeah. I don't know, no. Man. I'm embarrassed. But anyway. I didn't play one. <laughs> All the same. Red and blue suck. Fire Red and Leaf They're, Green, though. They, they have aged, yes. They have aged. Fire Red and Leaf Green, though. Those are hype. <laughs> get, get, get your games however you can get them. That, that's what we're trying to say tonight. Yeah. But that Still. will be it for Xeno number 350. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope to see you all. Hopefully, if you're around in person. If not, if you can come by through stream for number 351, okay. the, the final... Xeno Weekly. The mythical edition yeah. of Xeno 351. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to show one. up next week. And it this is, is where to go. Yeah. All that information. Twitch.tv slash house 3000. If you cannot make it, of course, start to GG slash Xeno, which you'll be able to register for uh, basically tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We already got uh, Zomba confirmed. Got us a Zomba. Yeah. Better. Someone, yeah. someone phoned to Buzz. Get him here, too. And, of course, if Maybe. you are interested in House of 3000 and what they are doing, make sure to follow them on all of their socials, twitter.com slash Devin3000. But in every other location, it is House of 3000, there including... Is, there is a new... Um, there, yeah, there is twitter.com slash HO3KNYC. Right, yes. Yeah, so we do have to get this updated. But, yeah. Uh, but still follow Devin because yeah. it's funny. But, um, yes, <laughs> send us email. Follow your local not ATO here. Correct. Ask me TO questions. I'll look at you funny. <laughs> it's great. We love it when you do that. And of course, one of the biggest things that are coming up for Hazard 3000 on top of Evo and on top of the uh, S Supernova is yes. also Defend the North for Smash, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and a bevy of other titles as they will be the mainstream. It's an yeah. official Nintendo event. It's presented also by City Gaming, and it's hosted in a four-star hotel that's right nearby the JFK airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's like $20 on the Lure, and then there's a free shuttle set up from the from the, the Lure to uh, the venue. So 20 bucks a uh, round trip, that is. Yeah. So if you were yes, going one way, then it's just 10 bucks, which is actually surprisingly accessible. Yeah, it's price-wise. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. It's going to be a great time. I mean, it's close to the beach. It's got an indoor pool. It's got a, a ton of setups from both like PS5 game, uh, PS5 setups and PCs and all of these other tools, as well as the availability to run brackets based on whatever game you want to play. So if you want to play some weird offshoot game yeah. or some like a beta. There's, there's a lot of they, arcade cabinets they, too. Yeah. There is so accessible. I'm actually really excited for Defend the North this year because mm -hmm. Uh, just by nature of it being in a new venue. The old venue had its perks, <laughs> but it was way too hot. <laughs> its perks. It had. Yeah. It, it was in like a decent location. I, I think getting to... Yeah, it was like a... The location was fine, yeah. yeah. The location was good, but the ceiling was not. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but the new venue should be a million times better, and for the 10th edition, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to do it for... Xeno number 350, make sure to tune in for 351 either in the venue at 20 Little Gladwell Street or right here at twitch.tv slash house of 3000 for the final Xeno weekly. Who will be here? I'll, I'll be, be here. here. You should be here. And we'll see you there. Support your locals. Have a yeah. great night, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>